I think the movie should transport you a little bit and have an impact on what you're thinking. I like sitting close to the front, so it seems like I'm the only person in the theater, and then I can totally focus on it and absorb it and react to it. And I think that's a, a very important part of Ian's uh, makeup is that he's extremely curious and he's just constantly seeking to know more and to experience more. And uh, I think that's why one of the, the reasons he's been so successful. Ian Telfer's roots in finance began with a degree in political science and economics from the University of Toronto. Inquisitive by nature, he didn't stop there, but the admissions process proved to be daunting. Following my undergraduate degree, I worked for a few years, decided I should get more education, applied to a number of universities, struggled to get in anywhere. When I did get accepted to the MBA program at the University of Ottawa, it was pretty clear I was the last person accepted into the class, and, and that was the biggest break I ever got in my life. And so his initial way of giving back to the school was to create a scholarship. And the details of the scholarship were that it was to be given to not the number one or number two student in the class, but to the last student in the class, because he felt that's the person who probably needed <laughs> the help the most. In our society, those of us that were in the bottom quartile of the class, we don't get a lot of scholarships. And so I just wanted to sort of turn that upside down and, and give those people some recognition. Never forgetting the chance he was given, Ian would go on to support the University of Ottawa with the largest donation ever given to a business school in Canadian history. Always looking to connect, his diplomacy and graciousness have been the cornerstone of his career. If you went to Central Casting, and you asked to find the best mining executive in, in the world, they would probably introduce you to Ian. I get along with the people in the industry. And yeah, it's a small industry, so you're always aware that any transaction that you do, you're probably gonna run into this person in another deal down the road, so you wanna keep the terms as friendly as possible. Ian's rare ability to craft deals that satisfy opposing sides has benefited many successful companies, some paying out combined annual dividends exceeding $600 million. His involvement with the merger of Wheaton River and Gold Corp is particularly significant. Got involved with Wheaton River at a time when the gold price was depressed. I had the sense of urgency that gold price was going to go up and we weren't going to have enough gold assets to take advantage of it. We came up with a plan to acquire control of a shell company called Wheat River, which had, uh, I think, about 20 million in cash and had nothing else really except cash. And we, so we took control of it, put some more money into it, changed the board, and, and then we started looking to acquire gold mines. And at that time, our advantage was that no one was paying attention. When we were acquiring assets, we were having to pay a premium over what everyone else thought the price of gold was going to be and convincing people that we weren't overpaying for assets was the biggest challenge. Deal making is very hard, especially on the acquisition part. When you're trying to acquire things and grow a company through acquisition and financing it at the same time, it's a very tricky, tricky business and it takes a lot of strategic thinking. And he had all of that, plus the, the ability to manage the process, manage the businesses as we grew the company. And yeah, no, absolutely not. This would have never happened without Ian. First as CEO, then as chairman, Ian has seen Gold Corp grow into a world leader amongst gold mining companies. Its success has funded not only the careers of 14,000 employees, but charitable initiatives, including the Gold Corp Center for the Arts. Ian and I share one very unique philosophy about life, and we both believe that you have to live life to the fullest. You live every day like you're going to the gallows tomorrow, and Ian, He's just, again, he is a lover of life and he loves doing exciting things and he'll always surprise you. You have to believe in what you're doing. Mining and the success of Gold Corp has allowed me to do that to just about any extent that I wish. And, uh, and I enjoy every minute of it and I appreciate it. <laughs>